Welcome to a brand new series on this channel. It is gonna be called Travel Stories on Kick the Grind because when we go explore these strange, unique places in locations where people don't normally wander, sometimes, not sometimes, usually there's a pretty interesting backstory that doesn't get told on the camera, it doesn't get captured on the camera. The whole point of this series is gonna be filling you guys in with some of the backstory behind some of the videos that I've made. So, rewinding back, Almost a year to February 2017, I started posting videos of an Amazon adventure challenge of my experience in the Amazon rainforest. There was two episodes of this race through the jungle. Then there was about a seven month break and then I posted two videos of myself and my friend Kaspar seeking out a shaman in the jungle. And then here we are a few months later with one question ringing like church bells in a cathedral across these videos. And it was, why? were my hands blue? Which is a very valid question because the point in time in the story where my hands turn deeper blue than the darkest depths of the ocean is completely omitted. I never actually posted how that happened. So today, it's gonna be the story behind why my hands turned so incredibly blue. Okay, first we need a bit more backstory on the Amazon. I went last year for something called the Amazon Adventure Challenge with a company called Large Minority where myself and a partner competed against four other teams, basically just running through the Amazon rainforest with biting ants, sleeping in hammocks, canoeing in leaky canoes, throwing spears, basically how a Amazon jungle warrior would spend a normal day. And we had to compete and race against other teams in the middle of nowhere. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. <laughs> Neptuno. <laughs> Neptuno. <laughs> Don't bark. Don't bark. Don't. Hey. 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 Okay. Okay. Okay, people walking on the stairs is scary. You're doing your job, I understand. Where were we? One interesting aspect of this competition is that it started and ended in a small town called Leticia. Leticia is in Colombia and it's the very southern point of the country. There's actually no roads to Leticia. You have to take a boat from Brazil or Peru upriver, up the Amazon River, to the city or fly. It's a surrounded in jungle, there are no roads. So it's right on the border between Peru and Brazil. So a lot of things happen there. A lot of really good adventures happen or start from Leticia. So where we left off on the Amazon Adventure Challenge was that we had just finished our blow dart shooting and our spear throwing competition in the small Takuna village in the middle of nowhere on the side of the Amazon River. <laughs> the next morning we woke up, chewed on some mambe, which is pulverized coca leaf, and then started our challenges, which was kayaking through a flooded rainforest covered in spines. <laughs> Things are going well. And then also, we went piranha fishing to catch our lunch. And that delicious meatball goes in the water, and you go shh, shh, shh. On the boat between those two activities, our guide Eliseo brought out this bottle with this blue liquid inside of it and he started putting it on his arms. We had no idea what it was, but it was called Wito. Wito is also known as Jagua tattooing and basically it is a smashed seed of a fruit that's then put in water and you put it on your skin. It looks clear, but four or five hours later, it turns deep, 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 blue. This minus. Just See? Wow. Wow. This Wito plant can be found on trees and tropical forests from Mexico all the way down to Peru. And a lot of native tribes use it for beauty, mostly, or to put tattoos on warriors. We saw it many times on children there, and I didn't really know what it was. I thought it was maybe some kind of dye or marker, I, I didn't really think much of it. I saw little kids with their hands deep blue and their faces deep blue and their bodies deep blue, but I tried to ask, but it wasn't really getting across in translation. But it turned out it was the fruit of this tree. So a funny thing there is we all started putting it on our wrists and on our legs and made designs. And I kind of felt like when in Rome, so I put four or five different coatings of this stuff on my hands. And then it looked like, it looked fine. My hands were a normal color. However, fast forward to the next morning and damn, they were black. 
So after we were introduced to Wito, we started to see it everywhere. And I saw a little blue on, on the boat captain's shirt, like underneath his shirt right here. And it's like, do you have Wito? And he took off his shirt and it was the most insane Wito tattoo across his chest ever. <laughs> so after that, I went back home to Canada and Wito looks very, that's very usual in, in the Amazon rainforest. You, locals see your, your blue hands or your blue chest or your feet or whatever. They go, oh, it's Wito. It's like a tattoo. It's like an ornamentation for tribes. You go back to Canada in February, March, when I did, and it's completely snowy and you have deep blue hands. People think you're crazy and you went to a tattoo parlor and just got your entire hands completely needled with tattoo ink. I got some of the strangest looks I have in a long time bringing these deep blue hands back to Canada. While doing a bit more research on Wito, I came across something that surprised me. And when I was at the shaman's house, after we had the whole ritual with the cambo and the ayahuasca and the rape and all the puking we did, they put something on our faces, which was this seed. And I didn't know what it was. They plucked it off a tree outside. They stuck a little piece of wood inside and made this bright orange pigment and they started painting our faces. And that actually is called anato or colorao in Brazil. I had never seen that before, but it was amazing how bright orange something from a plant can be. And the cool thing about this is it's used all over the world for cooking as well. So besides the fact that tribes do use it to do tattooing and, and, and rituals, it's also used as a food colorant. The USDA that governs a lot of the food use in the United States have deemed this particular food colorant completely safe. And if you use it, eh, no worries at all. Because it gives such a deep orange pigment but is completely safe, sound and healthy for the human body. So you see it in a lot of processed meats, a lot of processed smoked meats, a lot of sauce Sausages. The reason why these things are orange is because of this anato, this colorado, this achiote, it's got a lot of names, that is being used as a food colorant in a lot of food we eat today. I want to start honoring some of my subscribers because honestly, the comments I get sometimes when I go do the weird thing that most YouTubers wouldn't do and you know what might not be the most popular thing and I don't get all the insane views that I could do if I started taking shots of more girls' booties. but. The things I do, I really try to put my heart into, and the comments I get from you guys when I do that is like amazing. It makes me, it makes me love what I do. Not that I don't already, but it just helps me fuel the fire and know I'm doing the right thing. Okay, this is how it's gonna work. I, Mike Corey, enjoy my tattoos. I have lots, more than just this. And I think getting tattoos is one of the most intimate things you can do. It's not something you take lightly. It's something you do when you are trying to go through something different. When you, when you find something that means so much to you, you're going to put it into your skin. So I am going to start to get subscribers tattooed into my skin. Not with a tattoo needle. That's a little bit insane. With this Sharpie, which is very much a Sharpie. And while it's not as permanent as, say, an actual tattoo needle, it'll still be on my hand for about a week. So one lucky subscriber and commenter is going to have their name on the back of my hand for as long as it takes to for a Sharpie to wear out of my skin. This week, Mike Lampert. Dude, you're gonna be there for a week or something like that. Thank you so much for your comments on the two Amazon videos. They were heartfelt, they were honest, and made me smile, man. So thanks, and if you want to be featured on the Hand of Fame, just write me a comment on the video, like it, and end it with experiences over possessions, which is the motto of this channel. So, thank you guys for sticking along. Hope you're excited to see the rest of the Amazon series. I know I'm excited to share it, and there's gonna be some sick stuff on the way in 2018. Kick the grant. Blue. It's a little seed. <laughs>